all right you are welcome again today let's consider vector differential operator vector differential operator now look at this we call it gradient okay and then in the short form you can call it grad look at the symbol nabla you can call the symbol nabla or del all right good now what we want to do today is we want to prove the gradient of sum of scalars sum of scalars you take the gradient of it okay now look at this we said if a and b are scalar functions then the gradient of a plus b is equal to the gradient of a plus the gradient of b okay i want to prove this that the gradient of a plus b is equal to the gradient of a plus the gradient of b now before we prove this i want us to look at what gradient is okay now look at it we say that this is a vector differential operator this can only act on a scalar function okay good for instance we have this gradient we say that gradient is the partial derivative of a scalar function with respect to x on i component plus the partial derivative of this same scalar quantity with respect to y on j component and the partial derivative with respect to z on k component okay now for instance let's say we have a scalar function or a scalar quantity phi now for us to find gradient of phi or we say grad phi we say it is the partial derivative of this file with respect to x on i component plus the partial derivative of this file with respect to y on j component plus the partial derivative of this file with respect to z on k component do you understand this partial derivative of a scalar function hmm? with respect to x with respect to y and with respect to z on i j k components all right good now let's go let's pick the first one the, the left hand side we said the gradient of a plus b we want to show that this left hand side is equal to the right hand side now going with the definition of gradient when we say the gradient of a plus b that is to say we say on i component we find the partial derivative with respect to x of a plus b plus on j the partial derivative of this a plus b with respect to y plus k component partial derivative of this a plus b with respect to z all right good now look at this inside this bracket we have a plus b we can use this partial derivative to open it okay that is this partial derivative we act on a and also act on b that means we are going to have the partial derivative of a with respect to x plus the partial derivative of b with respect to x this is in the first bracket right good and then you see that this is on i component now going to the next one we also have the partial derivative of a with respect to y plus the partial derivative of b with respect to y and, and this is on j component now to the last one the partial derivative of a with respect to z plus the partial derivative of b with respect to z all right here we have i j k components now let's go 
let's use this i to open the bracket in the first one j open the bracket and then k open the bracket all right so that means we distribute it right so that means here we're going to have i the partial derivative of a with respect to x plus i the partial derivative of b with respect to x okay plus we have j the partial derivative of a with respect to y plus j the partial derivative of b with respect to y plus we have k the partial derivative of a with respect to z plus k the partial derivative of b with respect to z okay good now look at this we have partial derivative of a with respect to x y z and the partial derivative of b with respect to x y z right good all the partial derivative of a let's bring them together in one side and then all the partial derivative of b let's bring them together in one side also so doing so we have i the partial derivative of a with respect to x plus j the partial derivative of a with respect to y plus k the partial derivative of a with respect to z all right plus also that of b i partial derivative of b with respect to x plus j partial derivative of b with respect to y plus k the partial derivative of b with respect to z all right good now looking at this we see that we have i j k okay and then we also have another one i j k permit us to put this in a bracket so when we put this in a bracket that means we have the partial derivative of a with respect to x y z on the component i j k and then also in the second bracket we have the partial derivative of b with respect to x y z on i j k component so initially going with the definition we see that this is the first bracket here is actually the gradient of a okay and then the second bracket is the gradient of b you now see that the gradient of a plus b is equal to the gradient of a plus the gradient of b all right yes so this is the proof that we are asked to prove that the gradient of a plus b is equal to the gradient of a plus the gradient of b we call this the gradient of sum of scalar function or scalar quantity all right yes thank you very much for watching let's take more examples Please like, share our videos. Stay blessed.